What do you know about Capital, and what have you heard about it? That it's a high school and that like no one likes it there. I'm really never on that part of town, so. I haven't researched it extensively. I only know by word of mouth, but I'm definitely aware that there's um, issues. Yeah. I don't know if I want to say it on camera, but I mean, I think it's just um, there's Santa Fe is kind of divided like South Side, North Side, and um, people think of the South Side as rougher. I'm a student at Capitol High School. And even if they say, oh, there, I'd be like, yeah, there, and it's awesome, so deal with it. People didn't think I was gonna get here. And now I'm just, I'm graduating and going to college that I like. Until people walk through our doors, then they don't know, because that is the perception in our community. South side, you know, lower income, struggling families, yeah. A lot of that is, is accurate, but the fact that our families don't value education is extremely inaccurate. My mom always tells me, it's you have the opportunity that I never had to go to school and to make something of your life. They want us to have that education because um, the key for success and the key for people to not take advantage for you is always knowledge. Knowledge is power. Even though it is a priority uh, within the family, we, we know that priorities shift because we have to have food on the table, you have to have clothes on your back, you have to get, you know, students to school, parents are working, and so it, it creates a very difficult living situation. A lot of the students here are illegal and they struggle with becoming legal or their family being deported or the fear of them being deported themselves. It kind of eliminates the purpose that most people have for going to school. Sometimes I do feel like hopeless because I think I'm not going to make it this year so I'm like why should I go to school if I don't even do nothing. My dad got deported 10 years ago and well it's hard for my mom because she's the only one like that's why I want to work so I could help her at least to pay the rent or something. If all my students showed up each and every day to their classes we would have a graduation rate in the 90 percentile. We would have um, reading, um, math, and science proficiency rates um, way above what we are right now. The whole concept of the film is on such an amazing big level. It's allowing the students here at Capitol High School to really share their stories amongst the entire community of Santa Fe. I believe that I would like for people that are around me or like me um, to have their story heard. It takes a community to make change and I think that the more people that are involved, the more people that know about Capitol High School, it'll bring more people to our school to support programs like DACA, to support on such a bigger level and, and for the students here to feel a part of the whole entire community. By them saying no you can or no because you come from Capitol or no because you come from the South Side or no because your parents are immigrants, thanks to your comments I was able to pick up myself and do some great things so I can come back and, and help you and help the rest of the people. You can't judge a book by its cover like a school. You can't look at a school and be like, that school is, you know, looks like a prison, I'm not going to go to it. Or these kids are like, you know, they're hoodlums, they live in the hood, you know. But they're like, they're just kids, you know. They're just, they just believe and dream.